So next, let's talk about match color. And this is another thing found in that, in that magic menu, in the auto enhance menu. And this is an option here, match color. You can press option command M. Or if you've got your inspector open, all you need to do is click this choose button. It does the exact same thing. So choose. It opens up this little special window, match color. And it says skim any clip to a frame that has the color look you want to match. So you can not you can pick a specific frame, not just the whole clip, which is nice. So I'm going to go in here and I'm looking up there in the viewer for the exact frame that I want to match this to. Actually, let's, let's do this with this clip over here. I think it'll be a little bit more exaggerated. So I'm just going to select this clip here, and I'm going to click on the Choose button, and it's going to ask me to pick a new frame. And so if I go to a new frame and I click, see it automatically updates the view to show me the color settings that it's mapping from this shot onto this shot. If I go up to this shot over here and click, you see that's a big change. It takes the blue out of that card and makes the white in the wall blue. Go to this shot over here and click, changes it so that, again, the whites are matching the white and whatnot. Uh, go to this clip over here and click, changes it again, matches the skin tone a little bit, and so forth. So depending on whatever frame you choose, it's going to apply that setting. that It's going to map the color onto the shot that you selected. I say apply match, and the shot is updated, and there we have the effect. Now, again, like the balance color, there's no way to back this off slightly. It's sort of all on or all off, and you can turn it on or off using the same little thing, the little blue button there. That will return the clip to its normal setting or you know, enable the setting. You can always change what clip it's mapped to or what frame it's mapped to. Just click that choose, skim to a new frame, click apply match, and it will update based on that setting. So that's the uh, match color command. And again, useful only in pretty simplistic cases. In, in most real world situations, uh, it's not going to be that effective. But let me say this, if you are working in clips that are similar and they have just a subtle difference uh, and, you know, like stuff that was shot in the same location and you want to match it. This may work pretty well in that regard if you're working with subtle changes, uh, not trying to do big dramatic shifts.